Hi everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage. I went to an antique store after an estate sale the other day. Um, I have some footage that I'll share with you here and there is a haul at the end of the footage so stay tuned for that. Please consider subscribing if you're all not already a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate everyone. And um, please always consider sharing with your friends. And I love your comments too. So enjoy the shop along in the hall.
So that was a fun store. Uh, you probably noticed that the prices were a little high. And I don't mean, they weren't high prices. It wasn't like I walked in there and I thought, that, oh my gosh, I can't believe what they're asking for that. They were, they were um, collector prices. And I did buy a few things for myself as a collector. There weren't that many things that I purchased to resell because there just wasn't any meat on the bone there. So, um, but I do want to show you some of the things that I picked up. First of all, I did pick up that Santa that I showed you that I, you know, I did a little uh, close up of or made sure I filmed, but look at him. I have never seen one with the dolls. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? He is one of those, uh, what I call one-legged Santa's. He's standing on one foot and he would have gone in something. I have no idea what he would have gone into. I have never seen a Santa like him before ever, um, but I had to have him and I'm pretty sure I paid $10 for him. And you know how they do at antique stores. They did take the price tag, so I don't remember what I paid specifically, but I had to have these as well. This is a set of pine cone ornaments. They are made in Taiwan, but look at how cute they are. I did pay up for these. I hope I didn't do poorly. Um, the older ones can be really quite valuable. This guy's nose is kind of cracked, but I thought they were cute. I think the heads are soft, so I'm feeling like it's possible that they are spun heads. Um, but I paid $12 for the set of three of those. But they did come in the box. So, yeah, I don't know whether I did good or bad there. Um, but the next thing that I'm going to show you, I purchased a whole bunch of vintage Valentines. And there were no sales in this store. I looked everywhere. None of the vendors were having sales. But when I got to this booth and I was digging around in the Valentines on the very bottom shelf, like I sat on the floor and was digging through Valentines, I did find a paper that the vendor had written on and put there that her Valentines were 30% off. So I made sure I took that sign with me up to the cashier and, um, and they gave them to me for 30% off. So I was really pleased about that. So hold on just a second. All right, so I got so excited about the Valentines that I forgot about the other things that I bought that were not Valentines. I did pick up a flower frog, a nice oval flower frog. I paid $6 for the flower frog. I saw this Santa when I came in, and he's a mechanical die-cut Santa. His legs move, and he was $7, but I needed to have him, so he came with me. So the rest of these are the Valentines that I picked up. This is a huge Valentine that was originally priced $5.50. I think that's what she has on there. But look at this. This would be perfect for framing. Isn't that gorgeous? This is one of those, and I don't know how old it is. But this is one of those where I think they got a kit, and so then they they assembled the you know they glued on their the pieces parts and made their own Valentine. But I thought this would be perfect for framing. I thought it was gorgeous. And got this one, isn't it beautiful? I love these little honeycomb ones. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I got this little one. And it's one of these little pop-outs. His head isn't missing. It's bent down. And I don't dare fold it back up right now because I'm afraid it'll break off for good. But isn't that sweet? Another one. Really sweet. 1924 written on the back. This is awesome. Look at that. Pat from Uncle something, Uncle something and Aunt Joe. Oh, look at this. This is sweet. Oh, look at that. How does this go? I'm afraid to break this one. Let me show you the inside. So it opens out somehow, 
but it's it's tight so I'm afraid to mess it up so I'm gonna leave it alone I need this one isn't this sweet another stand-up one <laughs> I love these little stand-up ones a lot of blue colored valentines at least where the predominant color is blue I don't see a whole lot of those mostly they're red right or pink here's another one Here's a beautiful mechanical one where her eyes go from there to there <laughs> and everywhere in between. Love it. It's a bigger one too. This one also would be a gorgeous piece of wall art. You could frame this. Look at this. I think somebody made this. I just love this. This one might stay with me because I love it. I love the embossed um, frame that it's on, the cardboard. Yeah, very nice. Oh, here's another, here's another mechanical one. Wait, how is he gonna do this? Okay, he goes like this. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? And it says, to see my love and I got a whole bunch of smaller ones I'll go through these real quick with you this has a little stand on the back to, to stand it up this is another one of those little paper ones I've seen a lot of I like the bird on it <laughs> that's adorable and it pops up so I don't know whether, what it does. This is sweet. Look at how sweet that is. And I think this is the second one I have like that. <gasps> Look at this one. Look at that one. I wouldn't mind being a worm if you were the early bird. Look at how sweet. This one will stand. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Another mechanical one. Whoop! Kicks that ball. 1937 is written on the back. Another one of the little paper ones. I like the images on the front there. <laughs> oh, these are so sweet. Look at this one. Oh, I love this one. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so cute. So I don't know when you guys are going to see this video, but I have not yet done my um, Valentine's decor. So I'm kind of looking at these to put in my Valentine's decor. I don't know if this is mechanical or how this is supposed to do. There's this one. And that's on the inside. And the interesting thing is it's die cut so that that goes like that. That's kind of cool. This prescription can be taken for your whole future. Cupid's defense. I smashed him, I know, but you said to. My arrow did just what twas bade to. When Romeo's break him and Juliet shake him, what else can Dan Cupidy do? <laughs> Dan Cupidy. Oh, look how sweet. Look how sweet. Oh, look. I love these. And this one is actually in a card. I don't know if you'll be able to see the um, postmark on it. 1928. 
And that's all it is. It doesn't open up, but how sweet that it comes in the card with the stamp from 1928. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, like I said before, if you're not already a subscriber, I do hope that you would consider subscribing. Please leave me a comment. What did you like today? What did you think about the antique store? What did I pick up that you liked or didn't like? And uh, I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye.